In this lecture, we'll learn how to make polar plot, radar plot, and ternary plot. So to do this, I have imported new data called PRT. I'll attach this to this current lecture so you can have it. So to make polar plot, what you want to do is you want to plot on a polar scale. So you have, let's say, R and then you have theta. So let's just try an example. Let's make a polar scatter. And I have radius and I have theta. So let's just go for the angular unit. Let's go for degrees because I have them from 0 to 360. And you can also choose radians or grads. That can also be done. And you can set the upper and lower boundaries as well. So for the data format, you can have theta r. So you can have just theta and then r. Or theta and then many r. Or r and many theta. So remember you have a scale. And you have the x to be your r. And then this side to be your theta. So let's just go with R many theta. And now let's choose our R1. And let's choose theta 1. Now because this is scattered, I don't want it to look crowded. So let's just go to finish. And you have something like this. So now you have, you have your R. So this is your R, which is your radius. And then you have your theta. So you can always have this. So this is your theta. And you can double click and then edit it as we've done. You can come to grid and then change the grid lines as well. So you can play along with this and change, let's say the colors change all of that so you can play along with this and customize your graph as we've already shown and you can also come in and delete certain parts so you can delete certain parts of the plot as well so let's just cancel or delete everything and go back and now you have line so instead of scatter, you now have line. And in this one, let's choose degree. Let's just do theta many r. And then let's choose r, r. And then let's choose theta one. And this time let's do two. So let's go to r2 and choose theta two and head to finish. So now you have your two. And you can come in and customize them as we've already shown. So you can change, let's say, the line thickness. You can also double click, come in and change the graph as we've already done. So that is how you make pull up plot. And lastly, you can also add line and scatter together. So when you come in, you can also choose x y so for x y it's gonna plot and give you that radial ability but it's gonna be your x y pair so you can also do that and then let's just choose let's say you one and then two and you can add more to it and this time it's not gonna give you your regular plot but it will give you your x and y so you have your x you have your y and it will just have like that radio ability attached to it. So the next is the radar. So the radar also helps you to plot um, in scatter, in line, in line and scatter. Also, you can have vector arrows. You can have radar line and arrow band. And then you can have radar area. 
so let's just try the radar scatter now let's go with mini series you can also add label and let's just choose let's say one and head to finish so this gives us our radar plot and then it just gives us 10 divisions because we have in our column we have 10 rows so you have 10 divisions and it goes in here so division 2 has this radar division 4 has this radar so if your value is on 5 it will be here if your value is on let's say 2 it will be here so here there you go so you can also play with this and edit it nicely by double clicking and you can do access fail change this to let's say green and add pattern to it so it's customizable as we've already shown and then you can come in and go to radar and this time you can do line so let's go for line and let's go for one and then go for two and head to finish and you have your line let's do it for radar line and scatter so this time it's going to give you a scatter plus radar let's do just three so it adds the line and it adds scattered so you can edit the symbol and then you can also edit the line itself so you can change the symbol to let's say square change the fill color change the edge color as well and then you can come in for vector arrow so now you have a reader but you're gonna have vector so let's just go for one and head to finish so it gives you in arrows like that and that can also be edited as we've already shown now you can you see the vector shows now so you can come in and edit the vector you can change let's say the color you can change all that can be done in here change let's say from this to dash you can change the arrow here to let's say field and then change the degrees a little bit you can play along with um, the length and the transparency as well so that is something cool to do to know now you can also come in and then do radar line and error band so if you add error to your data it's gonna have like a band around that error so let's try something let's just do this and let's choose let's say this one and choose the error to be two and head to finish so you have the black being your data and then you have like error band because it's huge that's why you're seeing the band being huge so on your error bars you have like a band around it and you can customize it as well so you can change the area fill and play along with this and also change let's say your line make it let's say blue and then change the thickness of the line so that is something useful to do and you can come in and let's say delete this and you just be left with this you can also delete the this and you'll be left with this so this can be kind of edited by itself lastly for radar you can also have the area so let's come in choose mini series and for this one let's choose 
R1 head to finish and it gives you like an area a shaded area of the plot and you can edit that as well and change how it looks you can add let's say color scheme and let's say go for rainbow hit ok and that so that is how you deal with radar and tenery plot also helps you let's just do a little demonstration on that so you can choose the xyz column for triplet or you can also choose the planes so you're plotting your data in a tenery so if you choose let's say xy the other the z is computed or it's assumed and you can come in and let's say choose one and then choose two and head to finish and you have it this way so your data is in this region and you can come in and edit so let's just double click and you can change the grid for each each side or each axis as well and you can play along with the lines and and all and you can change with a scaling you can change the range of let's say the y you can change the range of the y let's say everyone is now from 0 to 100 from 0 to 100 from 0 let's make it all from 0 to let's say 50 now you have it this way so you can like change how each one of them looks and it's gonna give you a different shape as well so that's something useful you can come in and play along with these these are kind of like specialized most people hardly use this maybe for polar people use it a little bit but the radar and tannery is not mostly used so that'll be it for this lecture